Hi, it's Robert Bryce here, making a quick video to talk about my new book, A Question of Power, Electricity and the Wealth of Nations. This is my sixth book. I'm super proud of it. Uh, wanted to talk about why I wrote it and what it talks about, what, what the book's themes are. Uh, well, why did I write it? I've been writing about the electricity or rather the energy business now for 30 years. I've talked about a lot of different issues, but over the past few years, I really decided that it was essential to focus on electricity. Why? Because it's the world's most important and fastest growing form of energy. The countries that have plentiful and cheap electricity are the ones that are prospering and the ones that have intermittent electricity, the ones where blackouts are common and electricity is expensive, those countries are being left behind. Um, so I wanted to spotlight electricity. I wanted to underscore the importance, the essentiality of electricity to modernity. Nearly everything we eat, nearly everything we read, eat, touch, or wear has in one way or another been electrified. What are the key themes in the book? Well, there are three. Inequality, women's rights, and climate change. Inequality first. There are three billion people, and I used World Bank data to come up with these numbers. There are more than three billion people in the world today who use less electricity than my kitchen refrigerator. I'm not bragging about my refrigerator. It's an average refrigerator, bought it at Home Depot, but it uses a thousand kilowatt hours of electricity per year. There are now more than 3 billion people in over 70 countries in, in the world today where per capita electricity consumption is less than 1,000 kilowatt hours per year. So this is a remarkable inequality. This is the defining inequality of our day. Uh, the second point, women and women's rights and girls' rights. Who are the people who suffer the most in places where electricity is short or, or unavailable or, 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 or in, in short supply? It's women and girls. Why? Because they're having to haul water by hand. They're having to wash clothes by hand. They're having to gather firewood or dung by hand. And they spend inordinate amount of, uh, amounts of time doing those basic household chores. Electricity, electricity frees them. Electricity liberates women and girls from the pump, the stove, and the wash tub. This is the essential commodity. And when you look at, at the liberation of women around the world, how they've been freed from these, uh, these forms of drudgery, it's in countries where electricity is plentiful. And in the places where electricity use is very low, these women's are, women and girls are effectively trapped. They're effectively household slaves because they are doing the work that could otherwise be done by electricity. Um, my final point, climate change. Electricity generation is the biggest single source of greenhouse gas emissions. So if we're going to be serious about reducing emissions, we have to be laser focused on electricity. We have to be uh, adamantly focused on the fuels that can uh, that provide big quantities, big, big amounts of new electric generation at relatively affordable, at, at affordable prices that are relatively low carbon and are scalable. Renewables are going to grow, there's no question about it. But what I've talked about for the past 10 years, what I talk about in this book is end to end, natural gas to nuclear. If we're serious about ramping up electrification efforts around the world while trying to limit or reduce CO2 emissions, we're going to need a lot more natural gas and a lot more nuclear energy. Um, I'm pro solar, I have solar panels on the roof of my house, solar is going to grow, wind has its place, but renewables are not going to be enough. So the book looks at the past, the present, and the future of electricity. Uh, I'm really proud of this book. Um, it took about three years to write. Uh, you can find it at your local bookstore. You can find it online. I hope you'll check it out. Thanks for watching.